Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today I'm going to be building a sixth rate ship of the line. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos. So I'm just going to talk to you guys about what I'm doing in the video, so just building up the basic hull. Um, as you can see I always build it really rough, get the keel down which is the bottom part of it and then start working up. You can always add in more blocks later on like slabs and stairs, go block first. So as you can see me just tweaking it here. Also got um, the layer above the water, so we've got white which is going to be mostly uh, you know, below the water, a bit on either side and also on top using dark oak and birch. Now a little trick, I always build just half of the ship and then what I do is I use world edit and I copy and paste it, flip it over and I'm done. So nice and easy really, it keeps the shape really simple and I tweak this all the way around or all the way through, um, I'll flip it a couple times all the way through this. So it's building up the deck, trying to make the it go up in slabs. And then as you can see, me just tweaking little bits. And we're trying to build a forecastle now. So I like to do lots of slabs and stairs to build my forecastle from there. And at the back as well, that's also raising up. And just building the real rough shape for the, the actual cabin itself. To try and get that to all work its way out. So plonking down the mass, just getting a rough idea of where I want to put them. Uh, the reason I do this is so that we can get the actual way into the cargo hold for this, where you'll be able to obviously load cannons in, cannonballs, um, and any supplies that they need on the voyage. And now we're getting around to the back of the actual cabin itself. I was playing around with this for absolutely ages. I could not decide at all what I wanted to do. So I tried out a couple different combinations. In the end, I was thinking, actually, it's a sick for eight. Um, it doesn't need to look really, really fancy. So I ended up going with some oak and also just with some like hardened clay behind it. I decided to go quite simple for the cabin design itself, but it's got acacia uh, trapdoors on there, which I think makes it look good. So then coming back to the side, uh, one of the things now that I've sorted out where the masts are going to go and what the cabin's going to be like, um, I actually put in the lower gun deck. And because of that, I had to move a couple of those birch blocks around and just change it a tiny little bit. So there we go, just adding in more details onto the ship itself there. So you can see the kind of shape that we're going for, kind of curving up with lots of slabs and stairs. But again, you always add that later, don't add that straight away, because you don't need to add it straight away. There we go. I've actually flipped it as well a couple times since here. Um, now we're getting on to the cannons, of course, really important in a sick freight ship of the line. Um, so I've been going with having these like an extra slab on top and then using the spruce trap drop of it with um, anvils. Now because I want a sick freight, I need to add more guns in. So I added some extra cannons on the top deck. Traditionally, these will all be on the gun deck but because of Minecraft. Um, when I want to put on the wheels on these cannons on the inside, I have to have two blocks in between. Uh, but I still want it to be a true sick for eight. Now, coming along to the front, one of my favourite parts of doing a ship is the beak. Get, adding all the detail onto this and making it look quite fancy. So, at the minute, one of my favourite blocks of this is actually oak wood. Um, I just think it looks really good against the birch and against the dark oak. So, adding that in and putting in the bowsprit. And now what we can do guys is we can get onto the masts because of course we've finished up with the hull so it's mast time. So this one I'm going for three masts. So we've got two which are going to be completely square rigged and at the back we are going to have a, uh, a spanker as it's called. So then just adding in a little bit of rigging from the front. So this is always a little bit easier to do I find before you put in the sails. And of course some of the sails will actually be hanging off those as well. So we need to get that in there. So putting in the masts, really nice and basic. Um, I always just do these, you know, roughly, rough kind of like shapes of them. Sometimes I use sets of three, sometimes sets of five. Um, I try to use a bit of a mix of them, especially on bigger ships, because this one is a, is a frigate. It's not a huge ship, but it's big enough that we can actually do a little bit of a mix. So you can see there I've gone for uh, quite a few sets of three on the main mast, and then um, going up I've gone for for five and then another three just to, have to do it a bit of a detail on there. And there we go, we've got the spanker or the driver sail as it's called um, uh, on the back there. And just adding in the extra bits of kind of rigging from there. So now we are getting onto the sails. Um, the sails always take uh, probably one of the longest. It almost takes as much time as the main hull of the ship. Even though the hull of the ship looks far more complicated, um, the actual yeah sails always take the most. So what we're doing at the minute um, is we've got 
the foresail, uh, which is that one on the on the main mast there. And in a sec, once we've completed uh, one of the top top sails or four top sails, uh, we will actually be getting onto the jib. So I only went with one jib on this. Um, it was more because of the size. Um, traditionally, of course, you'd have multiple jibs on here. Um, but yeah, it was just the size. It just looks a lot better if you do a nice big sail from there. Now what we're getting onto is the mainsail. So of course, the biggest mast, the, the main mast of the ship. This is where you're going to get most of your uh, your push from 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 the wind, of course. So building a really big sail. This one because it was quite quite large, um, I had to cut out a really big part at the bottom of it uh, to actually get it to fit. But overall, it looks quite good when it's hanging over, and especially with all the other sails that are actually in place, I think it looks pretty good. And just working our ways up with each of these sails. So as you can see guys, when I go through in the tutorials, this is exactly how I build them the first time as well. So getting even more sail just between those masts as well, so that we can get some real speed on this ship. Um, so it's been quite a while since I've done those kind of sails, so I still need to kind of touch them up, I think. There you go, we've got the spanker or the driver, that's now all completed. Um, they're actually one of my favourite ones to do, that kind of uh, sloop or lantern type sail. I, I don't know why, I just quite like trying to get them to look good. It's just quite enjoyable. So putting on the final bits of details guys, we have got all of the crow's nests that I've got, so I'm just plonking those in, because uh, it didn't take long to do, it's hardly anything to show, and then just doing the shroud. So this is the rope that goes up off the side of the ship, and connects into the mast. But there we go, a nice couple hours, I think it took me about three hours overall to build the ship. Um, I did do it all in one sitting, so it was quite... Uh, Quite intense, I can tell you, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So here is the sick freight ship of the line. So what I'm really happy with with this one is the beak. I really like it. I also like the um, angledness of it. So um, so where the actual cannons go, even the cabin, although it's quite simple. I love how it's ended up turning up. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.